Greetings Lucky Legends, welcome to the dojo. My name is Lucky, this is Lucky Lad TV. I'm your host of this video, and it's time for Will You Press the Button? Now, I'm sure a lot of you have seen Nate Wants to Battle and Markiplier playing this game. It is very amusing, and we're just going to get right on into it. The first scenario, you can get a free coffee from Starbucks, but... You have to donate some money to a homeless. Okay, first of all, there's no such thing as a homeless. It is a homeless person or the homeless. Secondly, I don't drink coffee. So... While I do support donating money to the homeless, I don't care about coffee, so no, I'm not going to press the button. People are... S I mean, there's there's really no downside to this, but I don't want free coffee. Because I don't want coffee. It'll just go to waste. I'd rather keep the money and give the coffee to a homeless person. Yeah. You get to go on an adv <laughs> What? You get to go on an adventure. You'll save the world, get the girl, and have the best damn battle theme ever. But, you will have party members. Half of them will die horrible deaths. You will have no way of knowing who. You will have party members. Half of them will die horrible deaths. You have no way of knowing who. I'm doing it for the battle theme. Hello? Who wouldn't do this? So for this one it says you will run 100,000 mi- You will win $100,000, but you will have to run 2,000 miles. Now, I'm all about loopholes with this stuff, and it doesn't say you have to run 2,000 miles in one go. Like... In my opinion, I'll run like four miles a day, and after 500 days, I'm done, and I have $100,000. So yeah, I'll press that button, for sure. People are so fucking lazy. <laughs> if you didn't press the button, you're... You hear the most beautiful, awesome piece of music, but it will be the only song you'll ever hear. No. I like a really wide variety of music. Like, seriously wide. If you only have one song that you listen to, you will get sick of it. That's just how human humanity works. Yeah, I'm surprised anybody pressed that button. This is interesting. You have the ability to understand, read, and write any language of your choice, but you will never be able to speak in another language other than your first language ever. Hmm. So basically what this is saying is I would be able to understand, read, and write any language, but I can only speak English. I mean, I can just carry around a notepad and write down what I'm trying to say. I mean, yeah, I'll press that button. Yeah. I press the, damn right I press the button. That's a good one. You can skip through timelines, but you cannot ever use your reproductive organs. So for this one, I'm assuming they're being very specific, meaning you cannot reproduce. Because the reproductive organs overall, that's also how you expel waste from your body. Well, liquid waste. Uh, there's also other things that it does. You can skip through timelines.
Well, it depends on what they mean by skip through timelines. Do they mean you can skip through your own timeline? Do they mean you can skip to other periods of history? Because, and, like, I think about time travel a lot. Like, one of the don't quote me on this episodes will definitely be about my theory about time travel and how it works. I'm going to say yes. I will press this button. A lot of people did not. That was a good one. That made me think. So, I will reach a complete understanding with anyone you ever meet for the rest of your life. But, the first time you make physical contact with that person, you relive their worst experience in a dream. Yeah, I'd do that. It's just a dream. People have nightmares. That's a thing. Well, I was going to say I have to relive it like in life. That was a good one. You can move at an incredible speed, but the faster you go, the faster your body... No! No! That's dumb! No! That's bad. That's bad. This is perfect. This is perfect. I don't want to have kids, but I want the woman of my dreams. Perfect. You win a special lottery, literally becoming rich beyond your wildest dreams. But, everyone you love will hate you, and the only people who will ever care about your troubles will always do it for the money. Also, you'll become ill at the slightest provocation. No. Humans need physical contact. They need emotional, social contact. People literally go insane without it, so no. People are smart. I like that. You have the power to see through clothes, but you can't turn it off. <laughs> oh, God. No, I live with my parents. I don't want to see any of that. No. Bad. <laughs> Okay, you can travel to any location, any time, and any alternate reality you can imagine by teleportation. But, you have thousands of intergalactic enemies always attempting to destroy you. Okay, so, remember that whole loophole thing that I was talking about? Well, here's the thing. If I can travel to an alternate reality... Okay, these intergalactic enemies, it doesn't say that they're dangerous. And intergalactic also means they're in another galaxy. So let's say I decide, I imagine a futuristic world where I am extremely popular and everybody loves me and everybody knows me. But I have thousands of intergalactic enemies. But let's say this alternate reality that I imagined does not have intergalactic travel in it. There's no space travel of any kind. That means the intergalactic enemies can't get to me because this reality does not have that technology. Because here's the key thing with this is that you control the reality because I can imagine it. If I imagine that my intergalactic enemies are on their deathbed, they're not really threats to me. So yes, I will press this button because it's a good loophole. Good. I like that one. Oh god, this one's really hard. You have the ability to make anyone you wish fall madly in love with you, but you no longer find yourself attracted to anyone. And I'd have to say no. Because then it's just non-mutual attraction. There's no, there's nothing good about that. No, I'm not pressing that button. No, that was bad. That was dumb. So, you get to see people's reactions of when you die for up to a week after your death. But they won't care when you actually die. What? 
You get to see people's reactions of when you die for up to a week after your death, but they won't care when you actually die. That means you're just going to be watching people not care about you dying. No. No, that's terrible. You get a time. <laughs> but using it for any reason will set up a chain of events that ultimately... That means I get one use. No. No. I'm not going to get a time machine that I only get one use out of. Wait. So this one says you have x-ray vision, but you have to super glue your hands and fingers together. It doesn't say I have to do it every time. It doesn't say it has to be permanently glued together. Like, eventually the super glue will come out and I can, yeah. Yes, of course I'll press that button. What are people's obsessions with? Oh my god. Only 33% of people were like, oh, yeah, sure. No, that's dumb. That was a good one. You'll be able to put yourself into any all, any world or alternate universe at any time or any specific moment at your command. But you must stay there for at least one day, and in every other world, no one will be able to see or hear you. When they say every other world, do they mean, like, world one, yes, world two, no, world three, yes, world four, no? Or do they mean... In world one, yes. In world two through a million, no. Because if it's one yes, two no, three yes, then yes, I would press that button. If it's one yes, two no, three no, four no, five no, then no, I would not press that button. So, I'm going to say yes for this one. Yeah, I'm going to say yes for this one. This one says, you can withdraw unlimited amounts of money from your bank account, but the money is coming from the people with the lowest income until they have no money, then it goes to the next poorest person with money, and so on. No. That's, that's just terrible. That's just, you people are horrible. Okay, so this one I'm going to leave to you guys. So answer down below how you would answer this one. The question is, you become immortal, but everyone you love will die eventually, and you have to live through it. Which is basically saying, you become immortal. So, let's say 1,000 years from now, everyone I know right now will be dead. And since I'm immortal, I obviously have to live through that. One stipulation on this when they say immortal do they mean you can't die or do they mean you have eternal youth and life because those are two very different things because I don't want to be 1,000 years old in a 1,000 year old body because that body will be in absolutely horrific shape bodies are not designed to last that long when you're 90 or let's just no human has lived to the age of 120 in scientifically recorded history and if you look at the people that come close they're not in good shape they're on the edge of decaying as they live because their body is so old so i'm leaving this one to you guys how do you interpret this question and two how would you answer but with that, I want to thank you guys so very much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. It's very much greatly appreciated. But with that, I'm going to get about it. Best luck to you out there. I will see you all soon. Goodbye.